and very important thing that I will be discussing in this session that is characteristics of C++. You need to understand you have more features in C++ than C. What is the first characteristics that I have with respect to C++? All these characters are valid characters is what you have to understand. C++ treats uppercase and lowercase characters. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the first session on introduction to the C++. In fact, this is a very important chapter for all of you because the basic concepts of C++ you are going to learn in this chapter. So I will take you to the basic concepts of C++ in this chapter. Let me start. So guys, what is that I will be discussing in this chapter? I have a introduction about C++ and very important thing that I will be discussing in this session that is characteristics of C++. Please make a note of this point. This is going to be a very important question in this chapter. And then what is the next thing that I will be discussing? I will be discussing what is C++ character set along with that different C++ tokens. This is what I will be discussing in this session. So let me start with the first one that is introduction. So guys, we were using C programming. I have told you in the previous session, we had a programming language called C programming. So we were using that C programming. It was all fine, but we had a, some of the drawbacks in the C programming. So I was not able to write the problem or the program for the real world entities. So that was the major drawback that I had in the C programming. And I was not able to use object oriented concepts in C programming. So that was the major drawback that I had in fact in the C programming. So what I did, so the same concepts what I had in the C programming, I kept it as it is, but I enhanced the little enhancement what we have done to the C programming is what I will call it as a C++. In fact, please understand C++ in the sense this is what I will call it as an increment. So I have this language, but I have added some more feature. That's why I will call it as a C++. That's why I, I call it as a C++. You can also ask me, sir, do I have everything what I have in C? that I have in C++? Yes, you have. I have everything of C in C++, but what I have in C++, so, so many things I will not have in C. That is what you need to understand at this point of time. So in fact, or in short, you need to understand you have more features in C++ than C. In earlier days, we were using C programming. I had some of the drawbacks, so that's why I have added some of the features for C++. So especially it's an object oriented programming language, but when it comes to C, it is not object oriented programming language. That is what you have to understand. I will repeat for all of you before I change the slide. My dear students, listen to me carefully. C++ is a object oriented programming language, but C is not object oriented programming language. So please understand this difference. So moving on to the next concept. The first and the important topic in this chapter that is characteristics of C++. So what is the first feature that I have? What is the first characteristics that I have with respect to C++? It is a object oriented programming. In the previous sessions, we have discussed what exactly the object oriented programming is all about. Please remember object oriented programming in the sense you have abstraction, you have inheritance, you have polymorphism, you have data binding, you have message passing, you have all these features in object oriented programming. That is what you have to remember. So guys, object oriented in the sense, the first thing it should come to your mind is you should have all these features. So C++ has got all this feature. That is the first point that you should remember. What is the second one that I have? Portability. If I write a C++ program, I will be able to execute in all the machines, in all the machines. It can be Windows, it can be Linux, it can be iOS, that is Mac. So there is no machine dependency. It is portable. You can use it in any of the platform. So that is what the meaning that you should understand. So what is this modular programming? 
what is modular programming please recollect what we have done in the last class module in the sense what i have a big program i am going to divide that into separate sub programs i have a big program imagine the car example which i had given in the last class you have the car so you will dismantle the car you will remove the glass you will remove the seats you will remove the steering you will remove the gear everything okay so main car is divided into separate sub parts so that is what i will call it as a modularity that is what i will call it as a modularity the main big program is getting divided into separate parts so that is possible in c++ modular programming is possible in c++ that is one of the important point that you should remember what is the next one that i have c compatibility c compatibility in the sense what whatever i have the c program that c program will execute in c++ it is compatible so that is what you have to understand but can i execute c++ in c sir no some of the feature it will not support but c will be executed in c++ but c++ some of the features will not be supported in c is what you have to understand so what is the next one that you have it is comparatively speed the execution of the program is comparatively high and it is very flexible very flexible so what is flexible flexible in the sense what sir the same thing for example if your parents are getting the dress to you in the festivals so are you not flexible like you know you will wear whatever they have given you yes or no for most of you will shout you will scream i want that kind of dress itself are you flexible no you are not flexible some of you are not flexible some of you are flexible i am not flexible same way but what is the concept of flexibility here what is that i have to understand with respect to the programming some of the changes if i want to do in that program so it will allow me to do that particular changes when it comes to the programming if it allows me to do that modifications then it is flexible otherwise it is not flexible that is what you have to understand what is the next one that you have wide range of library functions wide range of library functions what is the meaning of wide range of library function let us understand word by word wide range in the sense you have more you have enough what what do you have library functions what is the meaning of library functions so imagine i have something called print i have something called print imagine i have something called print what is the meaning of this if i write something like this it should print whatever i write inside this whatever i write inside this for this print i have to write how the computer will understand if i just write print it should print whatever i have written inside this for this also i have to write 100 lines of code should i keep writing for one line should i write 100 lines of code no for that reason already some of the functions are predefined that is what i will call it as a predefined functions so these predefined functions are stored in one place so that place i will call it as a library that place i will call it as a library so in that library i have more functions if i have more functions programming will be very easy for me so that is what this point says that is what you have to understand yes what is the next one that you have system software development what is that system software development mainly C++ will be used to write the software that is driver softwares. What driver software? Sir, car driver software, Larry driver software? No. If I have a hardware, the hardware will not be knowing how exactly it should react, what exactly it should do. So for that, I have to write a software. I have to write a software so that software which will guide the hardware so that is what i will call it as a driver whenever you insert the pen drive automatically the pen drive will be detected for that also we have written the software so for that i will call it as a driver software for each and every hardware how it should behave we have to write a software so that is what i will call it as a driver software people prefer c plus plus to write the driver software so that software is what i will call the system software so this is what you have to understand in this slide this is very very important and very easy to understand so please make a note of all these points 
before I move on to the next slide. Hope uh, you have already taken down of these points. I'll be moving on to the next slide. What is that I have? C++ character set. What exactly the C++ character set? To make it very simple and understanding, if I take English, if I take English, if I want to speak English, so how do I speak? Basically, what should I have? I should have the alphabets. If I take Canada, what should I have? I should have a I E complete uh, thing. So if I say, if I take Malayalam, the same thing there also. If I take Urdu, same thing there also. If I take Sanskrit, same thing there also. Same thing when it comes to the programming language. So I have something. So that is what I will call it as a character set. That is what I will call it as a character set. What exactly this character set? Please understand a set character set means a valid set of characters. Character set in the sense what? Valid set of characters. Valid set of characters. I cannot use whatever I want. I have to use some of the valid characters in the programming language. That is what I would call it as a character set. Then what do you call it as a valid character set? So you can take the capital A that is capital A to small a, is it? Capital A to capital Z and small a to small z. That is complete set of alphabets. Complete set of alphabets you have. Along with that, you can use any combination of digits that is 0 to 9. Along with that, you can use all the special characters. All the special characters. So, all these things, a group of alphabets, digits and special characters put together, I will call it as a character set. All these things will be called as character set. What is the meaning of it? So all these characters are valid characters. All these characters are valid characters is what you have to understand. What is the meaning of valid characters? Sir? All these things, you can use it in the programming language. You can use it in the programming language is what you have to understand. So fine, you understood the character set. What is the next concept that I have to understand? You have something called C++ tokens. You have something called C++ tokens. The token which I spoke about in the doctor shop where you will go to the doctor shop and then you will be asked for a tokens you'll be sitting in a queue where my turn will come and I'll get the injection is that token no that is not I'm talking about C++ tokens what exactly the C++ tokens is all about sir very interesting in fact please listen to me carefully you listen to me carefully yes if I want to construct a building what is the basic individual unit that I should have? I should have the bricks, I should have the sand, I should have the cement, I should have the iron, I should have the money. Yes or no? So guys, all these things are the basic individual unit of a building. Yes or no? If I want to construct a building, without this I cannot construct the building. Yes or no? In the same way, if I want to have a programming language, I should have all these individual units. Then only I can have the programming language. Then what do you call it as a token, sir? Please make a note of it. All these things, I will call it as a tokens. Without this, I cannot have the programming language. I will be discussing this in detail one by one this is going to be very very interesting and important for all of you if you want to become a good programmer please understand this concept very clearly concentrate to me and understand what exactly i'm trying to explain to all of you right so hope you are with me and listening to me i will start with the first one that is identifier what is identifier sir Nimgala on the Sir Telvasar, Yenik identifier and the Yenik Esritare, Nimna identify Madaka, Esritare. In the same way, if I want to identify anything in the programming language, I will have the name. I will have the name. I will give the name. So that name is what I will call it as a identifier. It's very simple to understand. If I give the name for anything, so that is what I will call it as a identifier. It's very simple as it is. Identifier. 
in the sense the name itself speaks very simple to understand the name itself says identify i need to identify something i have lot of things i need to identify something how do i identify i have 100 students how do i identify you particularly by your name in the same way i have arrays i have functions i have classes i have variables how do i identify everything so i have to give the name for each and everything if i want to identify so that names is what i will call it as a identifier sir you told arrays you told functions you told many things what is that sir don't worry as of now just remember identifier in the sense it is a name that you are trying to give for a part of the program that is what you have to understand point number one so fine you understood what is identifier if i want to give the name so how can i give the name what is valid name what is invalid name name letter so same way i have some rules which i need to follow before i give the names right what is that rules that i have to give i have to follow before i give the name so please understand this is the example i'll come to this again once i discuss my rules which i need to give which i need to follow to define the identifier right so i'll come back so what is the first rule that i have to follow if i want to give a name listen to me carefully identifiers are the sequence of characters are the sequence of characters listen to me which should begin with the alphabets which should begin with the alphabets point number one your name should always begins with the alphabets that is a b c d okay a b c d a b c d so come on come back so what is that you will be using the alphabets to begin with always your identifier starts with a b c d so fine a b c d in the sense only a b c d sir no i mean to say that alphabets right so it can be capital or it can be a lower case it can be an upper case or it can be lower case upper case in the sense capital alphabets lower case in the sense small alphabets some of you will be able to understand right so that is what you have to understand or you can also start with underscore you can also start with underscore please understand you can start with capital a to z you can start with small a to z that is upper case lower case or you can also start with underscore what is the meaning of it sir for example i will write like this underscore k so this is the beginning one so i can also start like this or i can also start like this or i can start like this so this is the lower case this is the upper case i'm starting it with a underscore so that is what you have to understand yes first point i understood what is the second point sir C++ treats uppercase and lowercase characters. Please listen to me. Uppercase and lowercase characters differently. Very important. Sir, Kaushik, this is different. This is different. Mari one day on letter, sir. Please adjust Markole. Agala, sir. So everything should match. Il one day one letter capital birth bitra, il one day one letter small letter birth bitra, one day one the sir, adjust markole, agala sir. Ilen birthir sir, sir, adine bariveko sir. Only then you can, otherwise it will not accept this and this is different, though you have the same name because it treats uppercase as different, lowercase as different. I will tell you why. Listen to me carefully. Sir, how will you come to know it is uppercase and lowercase? Each alphabet has got ASCII value. Each alphabet has got ASCII value. Yen sir, Angandre, if I write A, it will not treat it as A. A has got a value that is 65. This is capital A. So B has got, what is the value? 66. Same way, all the alphabet has got the value. So that value should match. That is what we call it as the ASCII values. If the ASCII values are not matching, then it will not be okay. So that is the point that you should understand. 
moving on to the next point so no space characters is allowed no space characters is allowed these characters are like you know lovers there should not be no space between them always it should be next to all the characters if you give space in between then it is wrong please understand this this character is treating it as a lovers okay there should not be any space if you give space for example if i write like this bat okay i have given one space treat this as a name sir no you are not supposed to give space here that is what you have to understand so that is one of the point that you should remember what is the next one that you have identifier should be a single word that is what i have told you here it should be a single word if you are writing bad it should be bad right so you are not supposed to give any space please remember that reserve words cannot be used in identifiers what is that reserve word sir i have reserved some of the words let me tell you that what is this reserve words reserve keywords listen to me carefully i told you something called print i've told you something called print so print in the sense it is already defined whatever you write inside it will print yes or no it will print so same way i have defined most of the keywords most of the words right so something like i have if something like else right while so some of these words are already predefined if i write while the computer will get confused so i have to do some task because the task is predefined right so i cannot use this as a name i cannot use this as a name can i name you as go nin asru go anta helu bidla anga agutta kare agutta pa illa why go andre it has got its own meaning ba anta idak agutta nin asru na illa in the same way yenik agala ba andre it has got its own reserve word that is a reserve word that is not a noun right the same way this is what i will call it as a keywords i cannot use this for naming please remember that so all this rules i have to keep it in my mind whenever i am defining the identifiers whenever i am defining the identifiers that is very very important so guys i'll go back to the previous slide please observe here is it satisfying all my rules yes is there any any problem with this no all these things are the valid identifiers this is all about the identifiers moving on to the next one keywords just now i spoke keywords are the reserve words keywords are the reserve words all these things just now i explained just now i have explained keywords are the reserve words it has got its own meaning that's all about the keywords that you have to remember there is no more thing that you have to understand yen and the keyword and reno it is a reserve words each word has got its own meaning that's what you have to understand sir in in class mugita bantu listen to me two minutes what is the next one that i have in three topics are mugita class listen to me watch completely what is the next one i have constants what is the next one that i have constants yen sir the constants andre what is constants before that i will tell you one small story which happened uh, uh, very next to my road uh, it was a very interesting story i will tell you listen to me one boy was coming this side right girl was coming from this side boy was holding the rose girl was holding the rose they came closer from that side father was coming oh idun kelisko bidtira paata kelisukolakagala listen to me carefully i will explain that story once i'm done with topic what is that i have constants yen constant and there what is constant listen to me carefully i will write a i will write a so a is equal to 10 a is equal to 10 what is the meaning of this statement what is the meaning of this statement i am storing this 10 in this a i am storing this 10 in this a a is like a basket now a is like a basket so 10 is like a coconut i am placing that coconut inside the basket right so i have the basket basket i have the basket angadige basket takon hogidra bari coconut matra hako antu helidu basket illa 
ಕ್ಯಾರೆಟು ಹಾಕಪ್ಪ ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣು ಹಾಕು ಆನಿಯನ್ನು ಹಾಕು ಏನು ಹಾಕ್ತೀಯ ಹಾಕು ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಓರ್ ನೋ ಎಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂನ ಇಡ್ಬೋದು ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಏನು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಏನ್ ಎ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡೇಟ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೆನ್ ನೋ ಬರೀ ಕೊಕೊನಟ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಹಾಕು ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಹಾಕು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಮಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ನಾವ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸರ್ ಇವೇನು ಹೇಳ ಇಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಏನು ಸರ್ ಇದು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೌ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇದು ತೆಂಗಿನಕಾಯಿ ಇದು ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇದು ಬದನೇಕಾಯಿ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ all these things i can store inside this where variable variable is what variable is basket yes or no tengen kai like different different tengen kai ondo adurbai tengen kai 8 rupai tengen kai 16 rupai tengen kai just remember like that as of now i will discuss that in detail one by one right you understood the concept now yes what is the next con that i have remember i have integer constant look here i have integer so this is what i will call as integer constant what is this integer constant so what is this integer constant remember if i write a is equal to 10 so this is what i will call it as an integer this is what i will call it as an integer right what is this integer constant any whole number any whole number which can be either positive or negative is what i will call it as a integer in short sir yenadru thagoli sir 0 to 9 yenadru combination adana integer anta karithini for example 35 thagothin sir integer sir adu yes sir integer sir 145 thagothin sir integer sir adu yes sir integer sir 100 thagothin sir integer sir yes sir why sir because it is coming in this combination 0 to 9 olagade idya sir who sir idu sir that's why i will call this as a integer it can be positive or it can be negative fine integer constant andre gotai sir constant andre value sir constant andre no value so this is what i will call it as a value in this place i can show different different values different type of values that is what i am discussing right now that is what i am discussing right now so fine one type i have discussed that is integer what is the next type that i have floating point constant yes yeah, sir floating point constant sir a is equal to 10.35 yen sir idu 10.35 gejje cut podidira sir 10.35 please understand this is a number this has got two parts this is what i will call it as a integer part this is what i will call it as a floating part this is what i will call it as a floating part this kind of values is what i will call it as a floating number floating constant floating point constant so please understand so sir bare example kodi sir yen sir ondarle aata irthira 11.35 12.45 anything sir ella adrallu idiyala sir gejje so this is what i will call it as a floating point number please understand that what is the next one that i have sir aitu sir eradu thara aitu yen first integer second one yenu floating point ಮೂರನೇ ಇದೇನು ಸರ್ ನೋಡಿ ಸರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಐ ಸರ್ ಏನು ಸರ್ ಇದು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಓದಿ ಸರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್
specified single character enclosed in a pair of single quotation mark. Single quotation mark. Yerade kombu sir mele. Yerad kombu idhara mugit sir adhyan sir adho character constant sir. Yen sir adho character constant sir. I cannot use the number like this. I cannot write the number like this. I cannot write the number like this. Only alphabets I can write like this. Only alphabets I can write like this. That is what you have to understand. Right? So that's all about the character constant. What is the next one that I have? String constant. Yes, sir. String constant. Sir, what is the course of the course? Sir, class L. Even an obey and patamata is in, sir. Nang bejar at the other. My friends are a good con pata nortra. What get good con rene maja? Alua, sir. So lastly, when they want character course put it there, sir. Bejar at the other. Adike, Pakpagal course is in the character gana. Notice, sir, you got Turstini. C and the course is there, sir. You got yet in a Pagal course thin, sir. Notice, sir. This is what I will call it as a string constant. What is the meaning, sir? A group of characters. A group of characters which is enclosed between the quotes, which is enclosed between the quotes. That is what I will call it as a string. Please understand. Character constant and reno, but one day one character. Character constant in the sense what? Only one character I will have. String constant in the sense what? A group of characters I will have. A group of characters. More than one character. More than one character is what I will call it as a group of characters that is what i will call it as a string constant so let's recollect so first one you know integer second one you know floating point 10.35 third one you know come on everybody character fourth one you know string string constant what is the next one that i have the next one is punctuators what is the next one that i have punctuators Sir, if I want to make any meaningful statements, I should have all this. I should have all this. This is what I will call it as a punctuators. Exclamation, modulus, ampersand, semicolon, square brackets, no parenthesis. All these things I will call it as a punctuators. Yenike punctuators, sir. Sir. Syntactic and semantic meaning. Another one statement the contra statement meaning I have to use punctuators. I have to use punctuators. So all these things you should remember. This is what I will call it as a punctuators. So, guys, I have come to an end of this session. Hope the session was interesting and easy and simple. So I will come with a lot of interesting topic in the next session. Please wait for me and watch till the end. Share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Take care of your health. Take care of your parents first. Bye-bye.